Why are recycling programs so often a low priority in organizations? Well, the good news about recycling programs is that many organizations are now truly understanding the value of being a sustainable organization and how they present themselves. The bad news is that many organizations still look at recycling as an added cost uh, impacting the bottom line and they don't see the overall benefit. Today I'm going to share some insight onto some of the real positive impacts of recycling on the organization as well as some of the less known and negative impacts that you may not even be aware of by not being involved in sustainability. Let's face it, the reality is people are in business to make money and as an entrepreneur I really get that. And in many cases, when you see an annual report, it clearly identifies all the changes, the profit, the cost, the losses. And then again, at the bottom of that annual report, there's always a little note on sustainability. And many times I've seen it where it has an asterisk. And when I've asked these people, what does that represent? It's very clear. We're just guesstimating. We can't quantify the actual results. As a general rule with sustainability, recycling and waste programs are a very small portion of the annual budget compared to the much larger, sexier programs such as energy retrofits, water retrofits, lighting, HVAC and chillers that can save tremendous amounts of dollars. The path to environmental sustainability has many moving parts and I'd like to share my thoughts on what senior execs will understand and see versus what the average person walking through the building will see. So let me explain. Large scale uh, sustainability projects such as lighting retrofits are high dollar and low visibility. On the other hand, recycling programs are low dollar and high visibility. And a good way to explain this is if an organization changes all of their uh, toilets, let's say to a two and a half gallon flush, the average person isn't going to notice or perhaps the lighting has been changed to energy efficient LEDs. They may not know. But with recycling, if there is a recycling program clearly absent, not allowing them to do the right thing, that's what they're going to remember. And unfortunately, in many cases, as people leave, that's all they remember. So again, high dollar, low visibility, and low dollar, high visibility for recycling programs. To sum it all up, why recycling can be a low priority is it really comes down to the money. Business owners look, if they're gonna do an investment, they want a return on investment, and at many times they clearly don't understand the benefits from a financial perspective or even a social perspective. And an example could be someone leaving the facility who was clearly upset without any recycling available may take a picture and in these days post it and it hits social media. I'm Bruce Buckin, encouraging you to never waste a moment when it comes to implementing recycling programs and understand the true value of a successful program.